Hi, this is Gerald from Merch Studio, and today we're going to talk about how to create a gang sheet using Adobe Illustrator. If you're using Canva, we're going to have a different tutorial for that. But if you're using Adobe Illustrator, this is how you do it. So this is an example of a gang sheet. This is just the file that you send us that has all the artwork that you want us to print for you. And to create one of these, all you have to do is in your Illustrator, click on File, click New. And then with inches as your chosen measurement, make sure that your width is at 22 because that's the maximum print width that we're going to be printing. And your height can be as small as 12 inches. That's our minimum all the way to 120 inches or 10 feet or maybe even more. So I'm going to just go with 12 inches because this is just a demo and this is what it's going to look like. Now, once you have your empty artboard there, you're going to click on file, place. And you're going to place your artwork. So for example, if I wanted to use this turtle, I'm going to select that. I'm going to click to put it in your artboard and it's going to show you how big it's going to be when printed. So in this case, uh, your turtle is going to be 12.92 inches wide and 10.06 inches in height. If I wanted to resize this, say, make it 9.5 wide, I can just put in 9.5 there, press enter and it's going to scale it to that size. Now, if you wanted to make a copy of this, all you have to do is press Control C, Control V, or you can also do Edit, Copy, and then Edit, Paste. And it's gonna paste another copy there. Now, when resizing this image, I have to make sure that this icon here is turned on as there it maintains the width and height of the proportion so that if i change one say to 10 it will automatically change the other dimension if this is turned off what's going to happen is if i change this to 9.5 inches wide then it's going to change the width but not the height and we don't want that because your graphics is going to look wonky when we do that so we're going to make sure that the dimensions are locked in place. Okay, so I have two copies of this. One is 10 inches wide and the other one's 9.5. We're just going to keep it at that. But what we're going to do now is add another file to it. So again, we go to File, Place, and I'm going to go to my logos and add one of them. So let's say I'm going to add this file here. There it is. And if I want to resize it, again, this one is right now at 1.61 inches wide, but I want it to be 3.5 because I'm going to put it on left chest. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put that there. And again, I'm going to edit copy and then edit paste. So I can put it there as well. So I have two copies of that. Now, the problem that I'm having now is, you know, I have all of this empty space that I can't put any more copies there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this around. And what I need to do that is I'm just going to click on that artwork. I'm going to go to one of the corners and you're going to see my cursor change into like a curving arrow. If I click and drag that, it allows me to turn it so I can turn it whichever angle I want. If I use shift and then click drag is going to turn it by 45 degree increments. So if I wanted it at 90 degrees, that's an easy way to do that. So I can put that there and maybe add more copies here. Okay, so you're now ready to export or save your file. I'm gonna go on to this other gang sheet because this one is already filled up. But to export it to a file that you can send to us, all you need to do is click on file, save as, and although I can work with all of these different file types, I prefer Adobe Illustrator and Adobe PDF just because it's easier for me to manipulate these file types if I need to. Now for the file name, you can write your name. And say if it's just one file, you say file number one times how many copies you want. If it's you know the second file that you're uploading, you can just make it two times. Again, if you just want one copy, then it's Gerald Julito two times one. Then you just save it. And you're good to go. 
Now, another thing that you can do if you want to send us a PNG instead of your original vector file, so you can click on File, Export, Export As, and you can export it as PNG. But here's the thing, you have to make sure in the PN, uh, PNG options, make sure that the resolution is 300 PPI, that's pixels per inch. Otherwise, uh, when we print it, there might be pixelation in the final print. So I'm going to choose high, 300 PPI, click on OK, and then you should be ready to go.